Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today I'm going to show you the part 3 of the complete mining rig build and that's going to be the assembling of the rig. So hopefully you ordered your items in a previous video and if you still haven't I will put the links in the description below one more time. And actually assembling the rig is one of the most easiest parts because it's really straightforward and fairly simple. So as you can see, I placed every component that we need for the mining rig onto the table. But first of all, to get started, we need to motherboard and we're gonna assemble that one first because it's fairly easy to install the motherboard first and all the components that need to go onto the motherboard before you start doing anything else. So I unpacked the motherboard and removed the CPU protection cab. And as you can see, there's a small cable next to it. We will need that one later on too. So the next thing we need is the CPU, you can just uh, unpack it and lay it somewhere safe because that's what we're gonna place into the motherboard now. So the next step is to open the socket of the CPU inside the motherboard and then you see a small arrow on your CPU and it's really straightforward where it has to go and you can just place it because if you place it wrong it will just not fit so it's pretty straightforward and after that you can just close it up and you're finished. So the next step is pretty straightforward too, it's the CPU cooler. It just has four holes inside the motherboard and four pins for the CPU cooler. Just keep pressing on them until you hear a click and then it will be stuck onto the CPU. Just make sure that the small cable is on the top of the motherboard because there's a small thing that says CPU fan 1 and that's where the connector has to go into. So next up we're gonna install the DDR3 4GB 1600MHz RAM from Ballistic Sport into the motherboard. Of course we had a pack with two 4GB sticks but we only need one of them and it's fairly simple to install. So the only thing you need to do is open the two pins on the side and then you'll see that your RAM stick has a small gap between the pins and that's made so that there's only one way to install them into the motherboard and when you press on both sides of the RAM at the same time you will see that the pins will lock it in really firmly and then you're done. So the next thing we can do is install the power button and it's a really small thing and you need to be very careful where you place it. So this part is pretty hard to explain where the power button has to go so I did two zeros to announce that those two pins need to be the ones where you need to plug it into. So the next step is not for everyone that has aluminum frames like I do because aluminum is conducting and if I would put my motherboard onto the frame it would just fry itself because it would short itself out. So I took the isolation from the motherboard itself and sliced it into three thin pieces and laid it onto my frame. So next up I'm gonna place the motherboard onto the frame and grab the little SATA cable I talked about earlier on and place it underneath the motherboard too so I don't have a cable mess later on by assembling my SSD into the mining rig. So next up as I just told you I guided the SSD SATA cable underneath the motherboard and it came out to my SSD mount on the other side and now you can just place the little rubber thingy that will protect it from uh, harm anything else and I just place it on there fairly simple and then you just assemble the SSD into the little SATA cable and you're ready to go for this step. So the next step is to install our platinum power supply. Our power supply will be situated next to the SSD for a very simple assembly. So probably you all have different kind of power supplies but if you know this every power supply should be about the same. So we're gonna connect the motherboard the power supply thing first and plug it into our motherboard on the other side. So it's pretty straightforward, you just have to click it. It's only one way that it can go in and you really cannot make mistakes on this part. So it's pretty straightforward if you don't know how this works. So it says CPU1 and you just plug it into CPU1. On the cables there's also an indication that says CPU. So now you just put the CPU into the CPU thing inside your motherboard and that step is also done. So next up we will put four SATA cables into our power supply. One is going to be for the SSD and the other three will be for the GPU risers. So the SATA connector will go into the SSD and we will plug in six VGA cables into our power supply for every GPU that we're going to put onto this rig. 
So the next step is going to be assembling the GPUs into your mining rig. So first of all, you need to get it out of the package and prepare it for every single step. That's going to be repeatable for all six GPUs. Okay, so for this part, we need three or four things to, to remember to do. So first of all, you need to remove the protection cap from your PCI 16 on your GPU. Then you need to connect your yellow thing that you that's shown here the riser itself you need to connect that to your gpu but don't forget to open the white thing on there because otherwise it won't fit so just click it open it's uh, pretty firmly and it's pretty tough to get open but after that you can just slide it into your gpu and close it back up So now you can put your card into the mining rig and as you can see I forgot to make a shot of putting the power supply cable into the riser but it's pretty straight straightforward and I think you guys already noticed that and that's the connection of the SATA cable that I told you before. So now you can connect your VGA power supply cable into the card and then it's firmly done like this. So as you can see the card will have a blue USB connection over there and that's where the cable has to go into. The other side of the cable has to go into the PCI1 thingy, I have no idea how it's called, but that's where it needs to go. And that thingy has to go into the motherboard and it's pretty straightforward how it has to go into it. So now you can repeat this for all six cards and it's pretty straightforward, so you cannot make any mistakes. So the next thing you're going to do is connect the risers to the SATA cable. The SATA cable that we placed earlier on is pretty straightforward on how to put onto the GPU. So just click it into the right way on both cards and you're done with this step. So now it looks like a dragon with tentacles going all over the mining rig. But okay, it's just totally fine. The mining rig still needs four cards and they still haven't arrived. So I did some cable management and put it onto the wall and it looks pretty firmly and finally we can go ahead and start the miner. So when it starts running, you have succeeded. So everything should be connected firmly and correctly, then your miner should work. So if it starts up, it's just fine. But that's gonna be for the next video, the startup of the miner and the installation of Windows and so on. So hope you all enjoyed the video and if you still have questions or you think the video was too fast or anything else just comment it below and tell me what I need to change on the guides. So hopefully it's all clear and if you still have questions just comment it below. A lot of my subscribers also help out all of the time. So thank you for everything and we almost have 2000 subscribers. Thank you for that. We are almost there. So hope you all enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one.